I rise here to talk about the rule of law and the fact that uh, there are those in our society who seem to uh, want to circumvent the rule of law. And I've been talking about uh, Chairman Rangel and his issues with the tax folks and about the, how the rule of law didn't seem to apply to him. And tonight I'm going to talk about Secretary Geithner. But there's one area that we are all affected by every day. And I would even argue that many of us uh, in this country fear. And that is the area of the internal revenue and, the, and our taxes. The man who is the Secretary of Treasury of the United States, he's the man who is in charge of our money and in charge of our tax system. The IRS reports to Secretary Geithner. Secretary Geithner did not pay some taxes that he was supposed to pay. The IRS has lately decided to establish certain back tax penalties that you have to pay for failing to pay your taxes. And in fact, they've got a program going on right now where they're saying to people who have made money offshore, if you'll come in and give yourself up and pay those taxes, We'll make you a deal, and we'll set out in black and white what your interest and penalties are going to be. Secretary Tim Geithner paid zero on $43,200 or $43, in taxes he didn't, that he didn't pay. Chairman Rangel paid zero. It seems that some taxpayers appear to be more equal than other taxpayers. We're going to call the Geithner Penalty Waiver Act. And this bill will, is to provide the same penalty rate for taxpayers who voluntarily disclose unreported income from offshore accounts as was afforded Timothy Geithner with respect to his failure to pay self-employment taxes with respect to his compensation from the monetary fund. So what I'm saying in this bill that we're going to offer is basically to all these tax cheats that they seem to be talking about in the IRS right now that are offshore, if they come in and voluntarily do what they said they should do, let's treat them like we, tr we, let, we treated the chief tax man of the United States, the top tax guy. Let's just treat them like they, him. That's only fair. If he doesn't have to pay the penalties and interest, if he gets, gets off from, from that, those penalties, I don't think any other people should have to pay penalties. The whole world seeks a system where the rule of law prevails because it is that system which gives recourse to the ordinary person. When we have the opportunity to be in Congress, we stand up and we make an oath. And that oath is to the Constitution of the United States. The Constitution is that set beginning set of rules of law that we established this republic under. And even though our president stated that he was going to fight to make sure there were no special treatment for people other than everybody get treated equally, I don't want to send a message to the American people that there are two sets of standards, one for powerful people and one for ordinary folks who are working every day and paying their taxes. We're also supposed to be treated equally in this country, and it doesn't matter if you're a, a mayor, city councilman, a state representative, state senator, uh, whatever. Uh, whatever you're elected to or appointed to, you should be treated the same as every citizen in this country. They will be treated just like their neighbor next door or the guy clear across the country. They're going to be treated fairly. They're going to be treated and they're going to have a source that they can get recourse for the, something that happens to them. One of the things that offends the rule of law is when there are those who think the law doesn't apply to me. But this should be something that we demand of somebody that holds an office like Secretary of the Treasury. 